Today is an awesome day because the new Yeti SV160 has been released. For that release, I flew to Golden, Colorado to sit down with former UCI DH Pro turned national sales manager Chris Heath. Now, before we get into all that, it's important for you to know how Yeti got to its most recent long travel 29er. In 2011, we welcomed the first SB bike ever, the SB66, with 6 inches of travel out back and the ability to run a 160mm fork up front. It was one bruiser of a bike, especially at the time. This is back when 26 inch wheels and 135mm hubs were still a thing. All you old timers know what I'm talking about, if not then you probably have some Pokemon cards under your bed at home. The SB66 was the first bike with switch technology, but it wasn't the pretty Kashimi coated bit people still confuse as another shock that you find on all modern Yeti models today. Instead, it was this weird eccentric rotating assembly used to continue to reposition the lower pivot of the swing arm throughout the range of travel. Don't know what the hell I'm talking about? That's okay, you look great with your pit vipers on the trail. Though low key, I would rock pit vipers on the trail. In 2014, the SB6C comes out with the first production run of Switch Infinity, two aluminum Kashima coated rods that let everybody know how much better your bike was than theirs. The SB6C saw 157 mil of travel, and Jared Graves used it to win the EWS overall title in 2014. So yeah, it was a damn good bike at the time. Had some real sexy swoops and curves in the frame, pedaled great, and could accommodate a front derailleur. I really actually do hate people who are like, so, there's only one chain ring in the front now? Dude, it's been like, yeah, like it's early been like yeah, 10 years. Exactly. I understand that maybe you didn't buy a bike in the last decade. Yeah. All right, cool. 2016 marked the release of the SB55C, the 140 mil travel bike with 29 inch wheels. Now this bike spurred the creation of the SB150 and the SB130 you're all probably familiar with today. In the name of chassis stiffness, this bike was also optimized for one by drive trains only. That's right, friend derailleur fanatics, go f yourselves. <laughs> 2019 brought the release of the outgoing SB150. It made the SB55 seem like a wet noodle. The bike pedaled better uphill, descended with more finesse and control, and just frankly did everything better than the outgoing model. This new and vastly improved chassis saw over 50 EWS stage wins and an overall title. It's certainly not the reason you can't get down the hill fast, set a Strava record, or do anything good on a bike. Okay, history lesson over. The new SB160 is here. It comes in three colors, including two amazing colors you've never seen before, cobalt blue and radium green. The bike is as amazing as one would expect and should be in stock by the time you're watching this. If not, then blame the guy I'm sitting next to in the next part of this video. Hey, what's up everyone? We're here at Yeti today in Golden, Colorado to go over the three new bikes that they're releasing. Um, today, we're gonna start off with the 160 and Chris Heath, National Sales Manager at Yeti. What's up, Chris? Uh, we're gonna go over all the details. Yeah, first and uh, first and foremost, thanks for coming out. I feel yeah. like we're uh, deep, in the, deep in the bowels of Yeti here. <laughs> oh, for sure. But yeah, we're stoked to have you guys out and stoked to talk about, about new product. Um, you know, it's been since uh, model year 19, 2019, since we've had new products. So, you know, it's been kind of uh, highly anticipated. We've been working hard. We got a lot uh, of customers asking <laughs> when the new bikes are gonna come. Yeah, like, what's coming sure. from Yeti? Like, hey, I want a new bike, but like, yeah. I want the new one. What's yeah. it gonna be? Is it colors? Is it this? Is it that? Like, and there's tons of speculation. And finally, we're here, we have to talk about it. We're super amped because um, the bikes are great. As you mentioned, 160 here, um, fresh new bike kind of driven off the, uh, the 150 platform. Um, you know, subtle incremental changes, just given that the, the line was so proven before, right? So we've got a lot of, a lot of fun things to talk about. You know, you you have your obvious bits, um, half degree slacker head tube, a little bit steeper seat tube, um, but bigger, bigger changes like size specific rear end, um, size specific seat tube angles. Um, that's going to give you just a more balanced feel on the bike. Um, a co-molded threaded bottom bracket. So things that are really well thought out, you know, I think given that this line has been so proven and been so so strong for us. It really allowed our engineering team to think about those just nuanced changes and incremental changes to make this bike rad. So yeah, like you said, slacker head tube and, and, and longer wheelbase with the with the rear end. Uh, you're, you're just gonna be more of, more of a balanced feel. You know, we we keep reach numbers and all that stuff pretty similar. Um, you know, 480, 485 for a large or so. Um, but again, shorter seat tubes as well, so you can run that longer dropper post for, for the bigger size bikes. We actually go up to an extra, extra large in this bike too. So that's pretty rad. How yeah. tall would a ride, like for a double XL? I, I, mean, I, I kind of think like six, seven. That's <laughs> like, tall, yeah, you know, that's six, great. Maybe six, five plus, this feels like a double extra large to me. Right. 
but yeah, you know, those, those bits as, as well as, you know, a refined switch infinity, you know, like newer bearings, um, dust caps over those bearings, everything has kind of been done to increase longevity, uh, increase smoothness and suspension feel. Um, and obviously the, maybe the elephant in the room is it's 10 more mils to travel out back. So, right. you know, I think you are increasing the, the capability of this bike. I mean, obviously you mentioned it before we were rolling, you know, the amount of stage wins the 150 has, um, you know, the, the decorated history between the tape, you know, with Richie and, uh, and uh, other pilots, um, you know, it speaks for itself. Yeah. But, there, there's no denying like the capability of the bike, right? Like with over 50 stage wins and a national title, it's like, this bike's not going to keep anyone from going fast, right? right? It's, that's the beauty of it, right? It's like, yeah. yeah, it's already so decorated. It can do all these things and you made it faster. Yeah. Right. Like for sure more balanced. And I like that the whole balance thing, because then that means you're not so over the front. Right, like you can just stand up on the pedals and attack a section and not have yeah. to feel like, oh, well, let me wait the front because the front end is so long right. and the rear end is not maybe long enough with where it should be. Yep. Um, it's more intuitive, like instinctual to just stand up on the pedals and just charge through a section. For sure, yeah, no doubt. And I mean, just the other, you know, like the silhouette, right? Like like you said, it kind of looks, it looks similar to the 150, of course, but you know, tucked in down tube here, you have the different cable captures here. Um, obviously you have your rib chainstay protector here. You've got your different molded um, down to protection here, which is actually has a hard piece and a soft piece there. So just again, thought out changes. So we've got the new link um, updated collet axle system. And a, a big goal there was to really just trim out those tolerances, right? Make everything work correctly, eliminate binding. Um, and that's really apparent out on the trail. You know, obviously the 150 is my bike of choice. Um, but first ride on this bike, I was, you know, you kind of look down and you're like, in your brain, you're like, well, it doesn't look that different, but it feels so different. Like every movement, every input I put into the bike yields forward momentum. And as a racer, that just makes you giddy, you know? Um, so just the efficiency and that all, that's all stems from the collet axles, uh, the threaded bottom bracket, the, the new updated link, the, you know, the different chassis um, that, you know, being centered over the, you know, over the bottom bracket, size specific rear ends, all those things kind of, you know, marry together to give you this awesome ride quality that, you know, we've already been known for, but to build upon that is, is really exciting. Yeah, building upon such a great platform on the 150 and, and going to the 160, I can't even imagine like how detailed and how intricate and intimate you guys had to get with all these, these improvements, right? Yeah, I think that's one of the exciting and also probably painstaking, painstakingly, uh, you know, bits that the engineering and product have, have to go through because they're like, well, here's our platform. What can we do to make it better? Um, but that's also probably really an exciting challenge for those guys, you know, and then when it comes to spec, you know, chain guide out of the box, you know, that's something new with the you know, top guide, um, 220 rotor up front. Um, you know, we're doing certain kits that are that are access only, um, you know, just well thought out uh, builds to really have this bike come out of the box and, you know, throw it between the tape if that's what you want to do. Yeah. And I really feel that that story lends to define Yeti as a company, right? It's like, that's what makes you guys Yeti. It's like, sure. You took whatever, three, four years to redo the platform. And it's like, you did everything and you did it the right way. And even though the exercise is tough to improve a, you know, really successful product, you guys still went back and touched like I said, everything. So we'll go over who this bike's for. I know everyone knows what the 150 is, who that was for, and basically that's a carryover, but you know, we should touch on that, that consumer, right? So where are they riding? What are they doing? And, and who benefits the most from a bike like this? Well, the bike's for me. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> really? Um, it is. It, yeah. yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> this will be my bike for sure. Um, but yeah, kind of like you said, you know, I'd, I'd say I, I don't, I don't like to define and say this bike's for this person, this rider, you know, this bike can be for anybody. You know, th this bike is for someone who wants to get aggressive, um, doesn't want to be held back, uh, you know, given what's beneath them, right? Um, the, the cool thing about our whole line is that it uses Switch Infinity, which is going to be super efficient and climb, you know, like a mountain goat, no matter, no matter what bike in a, you're on in our line. Um, but that also just lends credence to the 160, where it's like, if you want a one bike quiver and you want all the travel and you want all the speed, this is your bike for sure. You said jokingly, but not the bike is for you. Um, when a bike company gets to design a bike for them and for the riding they do, like there are customers who are just like you and who are just like us who want the long travel bike that climbs, right? So when you selfishly design a bike to be everything that you want it to be or everything that the company wants it to be, you're still designing for a big number of people out there, right? Cause like 
I hate climbing, but I do it to get to the descents, right? Because that, that's what I want. So this bike lines up with everything that I would want in a bike. Yeah, we we, we spoke about it earlier. It's, you know, these bikes are all kind of definition ready. You know, like whatever the rider, whoever the rider is, slap your own definition on it right. and go from there, right? Well, Chris, thanks for the time, man. I really appreciate you guys having yeah, us out here. The new 160 is beautiful. We're super excited about it. You guys are watching this after November 10th on the release date. Come to the store, check out the website. We should have some in stock already by now. And um, yeah, we'll see you guys around. Thanks. Look at the bike. You're probably like, well, cut, cut, cut. you got a spider on your shirt. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> right there at your feet now. Great outtake. Yeah, that's solid <laughs> right there. So good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, 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 so good stuff.